is so amazingly positive is how we have all reaffirmed our commitment to a robust and diverse university community and how we all stood up for what we value. Um, we're only two months into this administration. This is what's happened already, two months in. We get Ken Cuccinelli coming out and asking colleges to rescind their policies banning discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. Two months in. So we all know that the Attorney General's legal standing is shaky at best. Universities have the right to govern themselves. But as the principles and the values behind the actions recently taken by our Governor and Attorney General that bother us, these kinds of remarks hurt Virginia and all of her citizens. And as angry as I am right now, because believe me guys, I am angry. <laughs> this scene in front of me warms my heart though. I like to see young people activating, organizing, and rallying together. That is what we need. We will stand up for what is right and we will make our voices heard. As we said in the hippie days, and yes, I am one of them, I was there. Question authority. The NTC subcommittee is making a difference, and everybody here is proof of that. Now, she mentioned exercising and engaging in the democratic process, and as soon as this rally's over, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk down that street right there, and I'm going to keep walking until I get to the Capitol building. And then I'm going to walk into the office, and I'm going to demand to speak to my legislature. Discrimination. I'm going to tell them my opinion that VCU is not a place where you can bring bigotry and expect not to be challenged. Woo! Woo! 